So that's it folks, Google has officially removed the waiting list for Google Gemini 1.5 Pro. That means you have large language model or AI that can handle 1 million tokens of context window. It is huge. So in this video, I would like to show you how do you access that and certain functionalities that you might not have known before. First, if you want to access this model, all you have to do is go to aistudio.google.com. So go to aistudio.google.com. Once you go to aistudio.google.com, for the first time it will ask certain permissions. But once everything is done, on the right hand side, you should be able to see the model Gemini 1.5 Pro. So you, if you do not have that, that means for some reason you don't have the access. But I guess at this point, most people on this planet should have access, um, maybe except a few countries. So Gemini 1.5 Pro, Gemini 1.0 Pro, so I'm going to select Gemini 1.5 Pro. And if you quickly take a look at this interface for Gemini 1.5 Pro, you can upload images, video and any kind of file and a folder. So for example, you have GitHub repository and you wanted to answer, then you will upload that as a folder. Or if you have got individual PDFs, then you upload it as a file. If you have got images, then you upload it as an image. And if you have got video, you upload it as a video. I don't think at this point audio is supported. So maybe audio is not supported at this point for the video that you upload. So if you upload a video, all it is going to do is look at the frames and understand, not understand the audio that is part of the video. On, on the left hand side, the sidebar which you can like toggle and then open it. So one, you can see that some prompts that you have used before and you saved it. But the simplest thing that you have to do is go click here, create new and create a chat prompt. Once you click create a chat prompt, if you do not know what to do, you can also go to their prompt gallery and then you can start like playing with the prompt gallery that they've got. That will give you a lot of ideas about what you can do it. Not mandatory, like basic things that you have managed to do with ChatGPT, you can do it here. First, I would like to show you a quick demo of how effective and powerful this entire video processing is. One of the things that I am super impressed with Google Gemini 1.5 Pro is the video processing capability. So this is a video that I've taken on uh, Pic Pixels, Pixels, Pixels.com. And as a human, I know this is a video of like mom and kid, uh, they're like trying to garden, um, probably what are the plants and all these things. Now what I've done is I've taken the video and given it to Google Gemini 1.5 Pro. And uh, you can see that I've already uploaded the video. The video is totally 4734 tokens. And as you can see, it supports 1 million tokens. After I uploaded the video, I asked the question, the, what, is the, what is the color of the dress the baby is wearing? And as you can see, the baby is wearing a yellow color dress and it very correctly said a yellow color dress. What's the shoe color? And as you can see, I'm talking about the baby and the shoe color is blue in color and it says the shoe color, the baby is wearing blue color shoes. What is on mom's head? So you can see the mom is wearing a headband and Google Gemini 1.5 Pro, it says mom is wearing a headband. Describe the entire video. The video shows a mother and a young daughter watering plants in a garden. The mother is holding a watering can and helping her daughter pour water on the plants. The daughter is wearing a yellow dress and a blue shoes and mother is wearing a stripped shirt and gray boots. Gray boots. This is absolutely insane details uh, that you can see from this thing. And this is one of the reasons why I've uh, like, this is purely mind blowing. I'm going to show you how to do the exact same thing. So first go to pixels or where, wherever you want to do what, and you can pick like one of the, one of the videos. So the video has to like, for example, imagine you've got a garden and uh, you've got a CCTV camera and every day you're like recording the garden a video with the CCTV camera. So what are you going to do? So that is the footage that you can give. I'm trying to show you. This is one of the use case that you can use. I'm going to, take one of the videos here. So maybe this video, let's take this video. This is a 49 second video and I'm going to download this video for now. First thing after we have downloaded the video, I'm going to go here, click create new, click chat prompt. Once you click the video, once you say upload video, then you can drag and drop the video here. So this is a 160 MB video. That means it's going to take a little bit of time. So while this is getting processed, I'm going to open Google AI studio like slightly differently. And I'm going to show a new talk, new chat, and then show you certain questions that we can ask. One of the things that you can do is you can like publish, you can send a huge um, amount of text. What does it mean? Select Google Gemini 1.5 Pro. You can send 1 million tokens. 
So where do you see 1 million tokens? So there are certain places you can easily see 1 million token. You either take a book or transcription of a YouTube video. One of the easiest ways for you to get the transcription of a YouTube video is you go to youtube.com and you pick one of the videos that you have got. Let's say Huberman. I don't know. No, I'm, not, I'm not like quite regular with Huberman, but let's go with Huberman for now. And um, you have a Huberman video. And once you go to the video, somewhere at the bottom, you can see transcription or the easiest thing is go here, click here. Let's say transcript. Okay, we have transcript, show transcript. Once you click show transcript, as you can see that you have the entire transcript. You can toggle the timestamp. This one is something that you can do programmatically as well. I've got a video how to do YouTube video summarizer. You can do programmatically as well. But if you don't want to do programmatically, this is one of the easiest ways for you to get. I'm going to take the entire text. Okay, I copied the entire text. Give me a quick summary of this following text. Paste the text here, get it back and then paste it here. Maybe that should fix the formatting issue. Okay, cool. I think it should ideally fix the formatting issue. So now I've uh, sent the text and uh, from 31 tokens that I had, now you can see that it is 24,000 tokens. So 24,000 tokens have gone and it is going to give me a summary of this. And now you can do anything. For example, you can like extract the names of the persons coming in this transcript. If there is a book mentioned, you can extract the book mentioned. So the potential is enormous. So the thing is gone. Okay. Huberman lab podcast decoding vision with Dr. Doctor. Cool. Is there any book mentioned? All I'm asking is if there was any book that was mentioned in this transcript. Um, and we expected to say this is like no brainer use case for a lot of podcast and a lot of YouTube videos because during the course of the video, people would say that, Hey, this is my favorite book. I like this book. Sometimes it's really hard to go figure it out. And uh, I found Google Gemini pro with this enormous amount of context window, this being a great use case for that. As you can see, it says there is no book mentioned here. And uh, if you like actually like want to test test, you can go pick one of the items here and then say, uh, like look for something and then ask question on it. I'm not going to do that here because honestly, like at this point, uh, this is at a very good stage. So now let's shift our uh, focus back to the video. The uploaded video is here. This is basically a uh, 12,887 token. And the previous one that we did was like 24,000 token. I can just say, what is the color of the dress the lady is wearing? Maybe a very more complicated question. Uh, let's go see the video so that we also know what is happening here. Uh, I'm not sure if it'll get it correctly because there is a lot of shadow here, but uh, you can see maybe I don't I don't even know what is the color. Okay, um, and we, we can see books on the shelf. So maybe we can ask a question about it. We can see two bottles. Uh, so we can ask a question about was there any bottle there? So let's ask those questions. Lady is wearing a beige dress. What does it what does it even mean? What is a beige dress? Okay, is this a beige dress? Okay, cool. That's fine. Um, how many bottles are there on the shelf? Let's ask this question. Uh, I guess it should say two. Um, maybe is this two? So we see two share two bottles. Um, let's see. Uh, it's taking time. So every time you upload something like longer uh, with more context, it takes a little. There are two bottles on the shelf. That's very good. And uh, how many books are there? I think I, I saw like um, one, two, three, four, maybe like five or four, five. How many books? are there so i don't think we can ask it to read any book name maybe there is one book name that we can ask it to read it says street and studio let's see if it can read street and studio and um, we'll we'll close the video section okay there are three books okay that means i guess uh, it didn't read can you tell me the name of one book if it says street and studio that is well and good if it doesn't, um, I don't think that it has read that book, but uh, let's see. The potential is like, oh, brilliant. One of the books is called Street and Studio. And um, I mean, I'm doing this live while recording this. So this is honestly like very impressive. And you can do the same thing with images. Like you can go there, like for example, uh, lead code, lead code leaderboard. Let's say lead, lead code global leaderboard. I'm going to go 
grab lead code leaderboard and i want to take the screenshot of this maybe take the screenshot of this and uh, copy this come back here start a new chat new chat i don't want to save this chat if you want to save this chat you have to save that way the short term memory of the chat is saved right now i did not save so i'm going to go here what's happening here and paste it and send it so this is one of the things that you can do with google gemini because this is truly multimodal so i'm interleaving text with image as you can see here so i can have text image and text also this is the leaderboard of coding contest the leaderboard shows top 13 participants their username who's the topper and where he or she from and the topper in this case is neil wu and united states so let's go see okay neil wu who is from united states that's great and um, is there okay let's let's see if oh, any other flag is there is there anyone from japan let's ask that question is there anyone from japan okay so it's going to analyze the image and then tell us was there like an is there is one person from japan their name is u w i i and they have done 213 so u w i only one i maybe that's a mistake it did and um, they have done 387 contests what does it say 213 so it's not accurate in this case but at least it got the person correct so this is how you deal with multimodalities on google ai studio and like i said at the start of the video that google has managed to remove the waitlist so i'll link this in the youtube description you can play with that and let me know if there is any interesting use case that you managed to solve with google gemini 1.5 pro whose usp is 1 million context window 1 million tokens context window see in another video happy prompting